So um, with that, I'm just going to let Vern get started and let him show you this because this is just, it really excites me. Uh, it excites both of us. Um, Terry and I were at the Red Cap Conference last week, and we attended a session where they taught us how to, uh, using the API, directly export to an Excel spreadsheet, which is really, really cool. And you can refresh as often as you like, um, and the data in your um, uh, spreadsheet will... Um, you know, continue to refresh based on what's going on in your project. Um, there's a couple of foundational things that you need to do. Number one, you have to have an API token. So you have to have the, the authority, the user right to be able to export data from your project. Uh, the other thing you need to do is you need to set up a report um, that you can use for what you're going to receive into an Excel spreadsheet. So the report I've set up is really simple. It just has a few columns from my project. Hey, wait, can you, yeah. I'm sorry, Vern. Can Did you I... just quickly, um, number one, can you show them where they get their API? Sure, yeah, I can go through that. Um, so show, for show very, them that they need two things. They need- The very first thing is you yeah. gotta have the right user rights. Thank you, okay. Yeah, you have to have, um, I'm just gonna bring up my profile just to show you where it's at. You have to have, oh, and I don't have it on this project. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> um, you have to have API export. It's a good thing I did this, Terry, thank you. Yep. Save me the embarrassment. Um, you have to have API export. And uh, so this checkbox definitely needs to be checked. If you're going to do any uploading, which we don't know how to do that through Excel, but you can download from your project. So that has to be turned on. And then you have to get an API token. To do that, you can go to the API over on the left side. Um, and if you don't have a token, there will be a button here that says generate a token. Okay. And it'll generate this API token. You're going to need this token, so you probably want to copy it off this page, you know, into a uh, text file or something so that you've got it for later. And then when you're in your um, report page, there's another thing you're going to need to know, and that is the report ID. What is this ID for the report that you generated that you want to export to Excel? Then you simply bring up an Excel spreadsheet, create one that's blank. You go to data, get data, and then you're going to get data from other sources. And you're going to do it based on a query, on a blank query. So basically what we're going to be doing is writing a little bit of code into this query that's actually going to do all the handshaking with RedCap do the, you know, exchange the token, tell it which report you want, and it's going to bring that data into your spreadsheet. So we're going to go to the advanced editor. We're going to bring up our script. And actually, before I do that, let me paste my new token into this so that I don't lose it. We're going to copy the script over the top of what's there. And then before clicking done, you can see here it says token string. So that's where your token needs to go. So we're going to grab the token. We're going to come back. Can't to you the just script. put it in there right now? Excuse me? Can you put it in your never mind? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm putting it, I, I'm putting it in, in the live and, and, and not messing with the uh the the template that I have. Mm. Mm -hmm. because the template is what I'm going to hand out. And so people need to know that you need to replace the token and the report yep. ID. Yep, that's good. And so now I'm going to put in the report ID. Okay, so now we have everything filled in correctly. So now if I hit done, you'll notice what it did is it pulled everything into a single column. And again, like I said over here, you want to change the name before you do much more. And then to get this to split out so that you get the, the all of the columns of your report, you're going to click this little 
button up here that looks like it, it's an expander. It's got arrows to the left and to the right. And it's going to bring up a list of the columns that it's retrieving from your project. You want to uncheck this box, otherwise it prefaces every one of these columns with column one, which is kind of useless because that's just from here. So if you hit OK now, you can see that it's giving me a preview of what it would pull from the project. And it's pulling exactly what I had in that report. So now if I hit close and load, it actually puts this into my spreadsheet. So from here, you can do whatever you want to do spreadsheet wise, spreadsheet wise. So if you're if you're doing data analysis or deduplicating or doing whatever you're doing, you can do all of that right here, just like you do in a normal spreadsheet. If your data updates, I wanted to show this. So I'm going to quickly create another record in my database. And I'm just going to throw some stuff in here. And we'll just pick anything. It doesn't matter right now. Um, we don't need a phone number. Got to have a title for the project. So I'm just filling in the bare minimum here so that I can move on. We're gonna do fully de-identified and we're gonna save and close. So now, uh, didn't I do? Oh, I didn't sign it. It requires a signature. And like I do even at the grocery store, I'm just gonna put an X. Okay, so I've added a new record. Now I'm going to bring back up my Excel spreadsheet. It doesn't automatically appear because this isn't a live connection. This is only polling when you tell it to poll. So when you're on your spreadsheet and you're on the table design tab, you notice you got a button here that says refresh. If you hit refresh, it will go and pull that query Did you have and, to make the project there we go. active? There we go. There we go. It pulled okay. it in. Yeah, it just, took, it just took a second. I think I was a little quick on refreshing a second time. So it pulled in all of the data from the second, from the new record that just appeared. So if you're a live project where there's a lot of records coming in, it's going to, you know, every time you hit refresh, you're going to get more records from your report. If that's, you know, if they meet your, your filter requirements of your report. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. So can you save this and then reopen it? Yeah, oh, sure. So if you save, save this and then you add some up and you decide you want to do some analysis later, you could then reopen it and it would refresh uh, when you opened it, would, would it not? It, it would, well, okay. let's test that. Yeah. I'm not, I'm actually not sure, Terry. Yeah. Um, no, let me it gives sure. me a chance to look at this and then think of questions. Let me make sure of where this put it so that I can reopen it. Um, so let me add another record. While you're doing that, uh -huh. okay. so let me just tell the rest of the group and, and one of the reasons that this matters to me. Somebody asked, a question a few weeks ago, coincidentally, they wanted to do a, um, a something more statistical uh, in their with their data through a report, and and I've said over and over again the the report engine in Redcap is quite functional. But I would say it's not um, the most robust or flexible or whatever. And so there's a lot of frustration a lot of times in, in, in creating a valid report. And then 
<clears throat> a lot of times people want to do a custom type uh, graph or pie chart or something like that. And, you know, you don't want to export out really to a CSV and then um, cut out possible fields that you don't want. And, you know, you just want to be able to, to manage this. And Excel would be a little easier, especially if you want to do some kind of statistical analysis on your data or turn around and represent your data as a, a chart of some kind. So um, that's why I'm saying if you can do, if you have this set up, you can open this at any time and and use this. Uh, and if I remember correctly, and I, again, I'm thinking on the fly here. If you create a chart, mm -hmm. I think that you can have make a the, URL out of that chart, I think. But anyway, if you can, then you can put it on your project dashboard within your project. Anyway, uh, uh, again, I'm. this isn't really a canned presentation. This is just like we wanted to get this out, not only to the people who are not part of the Red Cap immediate team, but we wanted our Red Cap team to be able to see this because this is the first time they're seeing it also. And yes. we will be able to let people know about this as a solution to some of their, their problems. I'm sorry, so go ahead. Or... Okay, well, when you reopen the spreadsheet, because there's a script in it, it wants you to enable that content. Okay. So if I enable the content, and it's trusted, it did not refresh, Terry. Okay. So you would have to go to table design and hit refresh. And there is Colleen. Okay, so good to know. Now we know, and it'll be in the video, so people will know how to make sure that they have the latest of their data and then they can just save the spreadsheet and then open it whenever they feel like and <clears throat> do analysis on that. Um, yeah, unfortunately there's nothing meaningful to graph in this or I would put a graph over here. And oh show. yeah. But and, and it would be, I mean, the graph would stay there and it would update based on whatever changes in your data. Right. So, you know, your, your graph there could be dynamic in the sense that every time you pull data, it would update. So <clears throat> we're gonna, one of the things to mention is we have updated our website. We were behind a few months with some of the uh, videos and Manny was able to bring them all up to date. So uh, we have current list of help videos. Um, this is going to go up ASAP along with that code as a, an, a separate document. So you could just cut and paste it in to the places that, you know, you, you were just shown. And you can go back and watch the video and follow along with you, uh, along with the video. Um, but the fact that you only have to have those couple pieces of data, the API token and the report number, and you're automatically off and running. And if, if you actually have a need, if, if you have someone that you, you come across that wants to use this and they actually have it, it is a way to do it in Google Sheets as well. It, 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 it would not be the preferred way because you ha you don't really have control over Google Sheets. It's out in the cloud somewhere. Uh, you know, an Excel spreadsheet, at least it's local and, and you can control the access to that spreadsheet. So 
Well, yeah. plus, wouldn't you want it on an encrypted computer if you're exactly the thought of red cap and putting it on your desktop? So I think we don't want to encourage Google Sheets. Unless it was fully de-identified kind of. Oh, benefit. correct. Yes. In which case, um, there could be a lot of benefits for investigative teams uh, to be able to post their de-identified data in a sheet at, to make it easier to share, give others the option of maybe manipulating that or or do whatever um, because it's a Google Doc. So I, it, it, if there's enough interest at some point, then we'll do a video on that. But for now, it just seemed like everybody knows Excel and uh, this is just, uh, I could just think of so many ways to use oh, this. I'm excited for us to present it. This is a quick down and dirty way of getting your data exported using the API into a, a, a usable tool, a tool that everybody knows. Right. Does anybody have any questions about this? Hi, Terry. I was Great. just wondering, um, so the API, I'm so sorry, I was, I was late to the meeting because I was doing stuff with IT. Um, can the API pull data from multiple projects into a single report, or would that be like a second step of, you know, taking what I have exported into multiple Excel documents and combining that? Isn't that a good question? If you, whatever you create in the report will be exported to Excel. So if you want your entire project exported, you would have to create a report that can show the entire project. And no, but can, she wants she wants to go across projects. I think. Oh, right? across even. She That's wants, correct. Yeah, I want so to compare do, between projects. Absolutely, you could do another tab in the same Excel spreadsheet that hooks to the other project, and so you would have data from one project on one tab, data from the other project on another tab, and then using Excel functions, you could you could join between the two if you needed to if you had a key field that you could do that on. 